Okay, I have bought two more fierce eyepieces and I'm going to show you how they look. Let me unbox it. Okay, I've now opened it. Let's see what is inside. Oh, I bought it from Germany and it seems it's a habit in Germany. It's a tradition. They send you a Haribo. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. Thank you very much. It's a big Haribo. Oh, look. It has this raspberry also. Let me see if you have a I can eat this. Orange, uh, apple. Doesn't look. Oh, it's agar. Oh, that's halal. Agar, agar. Killing agent. That's lovely. Okay, I'm going to enjoy that. And now this is my art pieces. Let's remove the packaging. See what is inside. Oh, I like this German. Whenever I bought from something from Germany, they send me a Haribo. Send me sweets. Oh, this one. Uh, Butter ocular morphew 76 degrees, 6.5 millimeter. Lovely. And a uh, Butter Morpheus. Ocular 76 degree 14 millimeter. Oh, lovely. So, what is inside there? Oh, that was it. So, I'm putting this uh, uh, fillers back. I'm going to open the box. Oh, this is exciting. Let's open the first uh, 14 millimeter one. Oh, elegant packaging. Look at that. That's better than a watch. And this is the Morpheus. Morpheus comes in a in a pouch that you can actually attach to your belt. Really convenient. And underneath it, there are other things, bits and bobs that are here. Oh, look at that. That's for attaching. Oh, a different. Uh, oh, let me open this. Okay, I like this being the eye guards. This is for attaching to the top and just you can attach your camera directly to it using a T-mount of course. This is another cap and that's lovely. Oh, what is this piece of paper? So, and I'm going now to open the Water Morpheus. Oh, I love these bags. They're so elegant. Oof. There, that's this writing. They glow in the dark. So you always find where it is, or if you want to know what's the size of the eyepiece, what millimeter of focal length it is, you can use this. So let me open this. And these grooves are really good for holding the eyepiece in the eyepiece holder. So let me see. Ah, this is elegant. That is beautiful. Let me see how it looks. Ooh, wow. Beautiful. View. Good eye relief. I don't need to put the camera close to it. it gives a good image. Do a test of this in the day, in the night time, on the telescope, when observing the planet Venus and Mercury. So far, so good. Bother Morpheus 14 millimeter 76 degrees eyepiece. Good. It it can be as good as a Nagler because it's not much different anyway, only if six degrees difference. And I'm I'm curious to know how it is. Okay, this is the 14 millimeter Morpheus 76 degrees. And I'm going to show you how it looks now, the image quality. So that was the image you saw. I was using the Scott Watcher EDAT Pro series, and the diameter of the objective lens is 80 millimeter, and the focal lens 600 millimeter. It's made in China. Very good telescope. Uh, it's a gold version of it, which is a premium version, and it's made by Scott Watcher. 
is a, uh, 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 you call it upper chromatic or semi upper chromatic. It's made a, with a special glass, which is a, a secret of this uh, company. And what I noticed that uh, when I put it on the uh, one and a quarter inch focuser, it comes easily to focus. But if I put it on the two inch focuser part, uh, it reached the end of the focus with this telescope. I mean, it doesn't come actually to focus. So I extend it to the final position, which is here, and it yet is not from focus. So I use it with the one and a quarter inch. That's perfect. With this telescope, I mean, it is like that. With any other telescope, I have to test it individually. Um, observing with this Morpheus reminded me of the 100 degree eyepieces. Should I compare it with the Teleview Nagler or Ethos or APM 100 degree? 